that was Adam Plebs. I promise this is the last deck profile from today. This is Metal Foes from the weekend. First place, Frankfurt Regional. Took a while to get a hold of this list. Um, this is currently uh, uploaded on uh, Legacy Card Gaming's channel. Uh, I got taken down because like the video was fucked or something. There's like, it's, like half the profile's missing. So what I'll do is I'll link the main channel in the description. You guys can check it out and subscribe, and you can get the live profile when it eventually uh, goes up. And you guys can uh, check out the reasoning and logic and all that funny, cool stuff. Anyway, uh, in the meantime, it is uh, your uh, 46 cards here. Probably an optimal number to play with Metal Foes, honestly, because you don't want to be drawing any of these fucking Garnets over here. There's like 5 Garnets, 6 Garnets in this deck, so you don't really want to see them. Um, but yeah, other than that, the deck looks fairly solid and is probably as good as you would expect to run Metal Foes uh, these days. So... Yeah, just getting straight into it. We've got 15 Metal Foes, the Searchable Low Scale, Dragoons of Draconia, Luster, a Rabbit, of course, there's no more Bumbuku since Kirin's gone and there's no need to play Bumbuku if there's no Kirin. Um, so we're running out of good normal summons, but we've replaced it with a couple here, so Rescue Rabbit and Lone Fires are now back in. Uh, Rat is a normal summon technically, but most of the time you'd just be using the Baboon to get it out with the Invoker play. Terra Top Engine, of course, still really good. Uh, Eccentric. A really, really good card, high scale, pop card, pop monster, just phenomenal card. Uh, Lone Fire has already mentioned, one of Max C, uh, Black Sheep, of course, for the combo uh, with the Fusion Sub in here. Uh, Painfuls and Arts for your consistency. Uh, upstart, which I thought was a little bit odd, but yeah, we are playing Upstart. Um, and your uh, four Garnets. So that is the uh, list here. Um, now on to the uh, extra deck is uh, an Ori Hulk, Double Mithrilium, Adamante, Norden, Alkahest, uh, one Ignister, uh, Emerald, uh, Zoo Cards, Break Sword, Totenberg, Grand Pulse, and Invoker. And for the side, we've got two Denkos. Um, and I guess I'll mention this on the Denko as well. I haven't ever seen this card before. I really don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I never. I don't know. I've never seen this before. So this is Photon Cerberus here. It's level three. Uh, during the turn this card was normal summon, neither player can activate traps while this is face up on the field. So it doesn't activate, so you can't strike it, and you can't chain barrier to it. Uh, and it doesn't stop you from setting your Metal Foes cards from your deck. I don't know how this has never been seen, ever. This is fucking amazing. How has no one ever, it's like, I... Maybe I'm missing something, but this card is fucking amazing in this deck, specifically, especially. This is better than Denko and Metal Foes. Like, I think this is actually better than uh, Denko and Metal Foes. Um, yeah, it's just really good. It's just really, really good. Anyway, uh, we've got MSTs and Eclipses, and then a Strikes as well for going first. So, that's your list here. Uh, first place, Frankfurt. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I shall see you next time.